Hello friends, in this video, we will go through some multiple choice questions of atomic absorption spectroscopy which are important for various competitive exams. So in the first question, it is about what is the principle of atomic absorption spectroscopy. So among the given four options, where the first one is radiation absorption by non-excited atoms in vapor state and then their movement to the excited higher state is the first option followed by medium absorbs radiation and transmitted radiation is measured color measurement and simply observation of color so among these four options as we have seen in the principle of atomic absorption spectroscopy here the uh, sample is converted into vapor state and after that those vaporized molecules they are put up in the flame and in that area uh, due to the availability of the thermal energy the ground state atoms or the non excited atoms they move to, uh, to the higher st energy state or to in the excited state so our option number a that is radiation is absorbed by the non excited atoms in vapor state and are excited to higher state it is the correct option for this type of atomic emission spectroscopy then we will move to question number two that is in atomic absorption spectroscopy which of the following is the generally used radiation source so that is tungsten lamp xenon mercury arc lamp hydrogen or deuterium discharge lamp and halo cathode lamp so as we have seen in theory that in aas hollow cathode lamp it is used as a radiation source and why it is used because it emits stable as well as intense radiation then the next question is in aas what type of material is used uh, to make cathode in hollow cathode lamp so there are four options tungsten quartz element which are we are going to be investigate and aluminum so among the four options option number c that is the element which we are going to investigate is used to construct the cathode in the hollow cathode lamp and uh, the anode it is made up of tungsten while quartz is used to make the monochromatons how can the intensity of radiation be increased in hollow cathode lamp so there are various options given like addition of non conductive protective shield of mica addition of nitrogen to neon or argon in the lamp increasing the pressure of the filling gas changing the metal of the anode so among these four options option number a that is addition of non conductive protective shield of mica is the correct answer as the intensity of radiation is increased in hollow cathode lamp by this addition of this uh, protective shield of mica and uh, this protective shield can be made up of other materials like glass which of the following is the function of chopper in aas to split the beam into two to break the steady light into a pulsating light to filter unwanted components to reduce the sample into atomic state so um uh, these four options like to split the beam into two it is not required in case of as it is basically in the case of uv visible spectroscopy then comes the second option to break the steady light into a pulsating light yes this is the right option in aas and uh, it helps to break the steady light into the pulsating light and uh, it is a kind of rotating wheel which is placed between the flame and the radiation source while option number c that is to filter unwanted components and so that is the job of filters or you can say monochromators then the fourth option to reduce the sample into atomic state so that is the job done by atomizer so option number b is the right answer thank you for joining enjoy learning and don't forget to subscribe the channel